we're not saying which population necessarily needs to be boosted uh, come next fall, winter. Uh, I think this morning, FDA advisors looking at the long game when it comes to fighting COVID-19. What will it take to fight new variants, the need for boosters, or an annual vaccine to tie into flu season? Research shows a person who was fully vaccinated was 80% protected from needing a ventilator or death during the last wave of infection. Having a booster shot increased that protection to 94%. In New York, COVID vaccine fatigue is setting in, as the CDC is now recommending a fourth shot for immunocompromised people or those 50 and older. But less than half the adults in New York City have received a booster shot. And while the new Omicron variant BA2 cases are on the rise, hospitals are not seeing a surge in seriously sick patients. I would absolutely uh, credit the low mortality and hospitalizations that we're seeing right now to the high percentage of vaccinated patients, uh, and especially in our population in this geographical region. Um, and also given the natural immunity that happened with the Omicron variant, um, and the decreased severity of the variants that we're seeing so far. Northwell Health Emergency Medicine physician Niall Khan says the reality is COVID-19 is still present as much as people want to move on with their daily lives. And with bursts of new variants, doctors recommend a fourth dose of the COVID vaccine, but an annual shot is on the horizon. We do anticipate uh, there will be like a seasonal COVID wave, seasonal flu wave, as there always has been any, any kind of virus. Um, I foresee that for now there will be recommended COVID shots yearly at least, uh, as well as your yearly flu shot. I know some uh, companies right now are trying to create a combined flu and COVID vaccine.